the sheriff's department temporarily shut down 40 intersections in Compton and pray for peace. What's the, the message of tonight? Peace in the community. We have many churches out here tonight and it's all about making certain that we could be united. We shall overcome. The group sings We Shall Overcome and are led by a hundred different pastors. We love our city. We love our young people. I really believe that this is a time that the city, if we come together more now than ever to overcome the evil with good, then we're going to see a change in our city, our communities, and our culture. The Push 100 campaign is a reaction to the so-called 100 Days, 100 Nights campaign. On social media, some gang members have threatened a summer of violence. On this night, a 16-year-old loses his life in Compton in what appears to be a gang-related shooting. What proof is there that God is working and service stopping the violence? Prayer. Prayer is proof. Push 100 really is an opportunity for us to take back our streets. And there is more positivity and more good here on this corner, and it will counterbalance the evil that's happening in this city. You see that sign, Honk for Peace? So many people have been doing just that. And as we come back out here live, you can see we've got a combination of the sheriff's department, some children, and the pastor who is behind all this, Pastor Michael J.T. Fisher. Basic message, what do you want everybody at home to take away from this tonight? That it's time for us to overcome the evil with the good. Love always wins. Love always wins. We can all agree on that, can't we? Reporting live from Compton, Alex Michelson, ABC7, Eyewitness News. It's a great message. All right. Alex, thank you. 50 points to the fandom. With just 10 words Friday, J.K. Rowling has not translated to her new reality show, I Am Kate. The docuseries lost half of its viewership on the second